everybody. Hi, we were just about ready to make a shake and realize that the Can you tell everyone I'm playing chess with them? Oh yeah, let me just explain what's going on here. <laughs> we, um, I wanted to do a live video and I'm like, we, we can just do this. But Sean is playing chess with Owen and we just wanted to do a quick little live video because we're really excited about some of the changes that we're seeing um, are with the eco-friendly things that the Isogenics has been rolling out. And I was so excited to, to open this canister of shake and to see this biodegradable scoop and as opposed to this plastic one. What are you doing? Um, I think since 2020, Sean and I have really been a little more conscious, conscious of the, the garbage and um, the environment, ways that we could make little changes to hopefully make, have a big impact, which I really do believe that is possible. And that's why I, I get really excited when I see little things like this. And uh, like a week ago when we went, we went to the movie theater, there were these biodegradable straws. And it's just fun to see that the, you know, everybody's being more aware of that and trying to make little changes. And like I said, Sean and I have really been a little more, trying to be a little more aware of that and making little changes as well. We are composting now. Um, we, what are some of the other things that we've changed? We're trying to use uh, more biodegradable, you know, purchase products that are more um, eco-friendly like this. And uh, just little things like that. And also I think Sean and I were also talking recently about, well, for a couple of years now, um, feeling a little overwhelmed with the, you know, what is happening with with the earth and the environment and having a lot of concerns there and sometimes feeling very um, powerless, like wondering if there, it's too late, like can we even fix the problems that we have right now with the amount of garbage and global warming and uh, there's just so much consumerism that we're also used to and so it, we can, you know, get into a place of feeling a little um, defeated and thinking that it all is lost and there's no hope for the earth now. But I think uh, Sean and I have really been trying to make a little mindset shift around that and just trust that these little changes like this can make a big difference and that's one thing that I hope can, can be part of the ER shred culture is to be really aware of the amount of garbage that we are creating and you know making little changes like something as simple as this um, so is there anything you wanted to add? I, you said it all um, you know I think even the plastic yeah, if you, if you look different. at the cool little insignias and stuff, like um, the plastic that we're using is uh, is recycled plastic. But I, I appreciate what the company is doing with the products to try to help the earth. Um, I don't think, I think a lot of the older generation, uh, in my experience, oftentimes they, they look at it as... Uh, not not worthwhile, you know. It's almost like, like they're, they won't in, be able they're, to make they're in denial. Yeah. They're in denial, in my opinion. About so you've got an older generation. My observation would be that they have come to the determination that they have not negatively impacted the earth. <laughs> they don't want to believe it. And then you have my generation, and and I think that we almost. It, it's easy to feel as though you can't make a difference. You yeah. can't fix it. It's too far gone. And then I think there's another younger generation who just sees an absolute necessity of, you know, this is our role to play. And so those individuals, I think we should all be very proud of them. And I am. And we are proud of them. And, and uh, Eric Coover is one of those individuals who, you know, he's kind of made that his banner cry. And, and Crystal and I really do stand behind him in that. 
because just imagine, you know, an eight billion dollar company, how many cans of this shake have been sold? How much plastic are we adding to the earth? Uh, imagine just these little scoops that come in every single, you know, every one of these. Mm -hmm. Add it all up, millions and millions and millions of these littered all over the earth. Just changing to that, it actually will make a massive difference. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm excited about it as well. Yeah. And, you know, Crystal, you're right. ER Shred is very much about, you know, hey, we can live with, with less. Mm -hmm. And we can simplify. And we can lessen our impact on the earth. Um, and let's, if we all do that, if we all do a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more, it, hey, what's the alternative, guys? Keep going down the road we're going, which is just sheer destruction. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the other thing is that we are always promoting is the grass-fed beef. And I know it's not a requirement um, because I know that the grass-fed beef is a little bit more expensive, but... We do. Are, we are very passionate about the grass-fed beef, not just because of the health benefits for ourselves, but also because of you know the, they're humanely raised, and they're it's better for the soil the way these cows are being um, raised, and so it, I feel like by supporting local farmers and supporting the companies that are actually doing it right and making these types of changes, being conscious of the garbage. And what we're doing to the environment, like that, those are the types of companies that I really, really feel passionate about supporting. And, um, but yeah, I, I love that that is part of our culture. And I see it when I scroll through and in the group and people talking about the environment and talking about, um, you know, animals. Like we love animals still, even though we're, you know, we we're not vegans. That I feel that was one of the hard things for me when I transitioned from veganism to eating meat. I thought, well, I love animals, so but you can love animals and um, treat them with respect and still know that that, that is part of the circle of life. And we can just have a lot of gratitude for for the cows that are nourishing our bodies and helping us stay healthy. So I love that that is part of our culture, and I just wanted to get on and talk about that. So. Hope you guys are having a great day. Yeah, guys, have a good day. Thanks.